you were looking at an old world Bala Spinel. This particular stone weighing in a 3.04 carat is extremely uncommon. It dates back to the period of Marco Polo. It actually comes out of what's known as the Balas ruby mine, which was actually a spinel mine. So if you look at the color of this stone and compare it with a lot of the spinels that came out that were confused as rubies, this was the material and the mine it came from. It's dated back around 800 years ago. And if you look back at the scriptures of Marco Polo, this is what he referred to as the rubies in the area, the Balas ruby. They only found out about 100 years ago the difference between spinel and ruby. Now they can clearly define find it and they understand the rarity of spinel before they just called it ruby but this is clearly extremely fine quality and extremely good color coming out of the ballast deposit of spinel this particular material now is pretty much non-existence you see some deposits coming out of the himalayan belt but the ballast ruby mines or spinel mines are completely depleted this is up in a different part of tajikistan than the current mines that they look at you know like the material that comes out of pamir and stuff like that in the himalayas but this is great quality it's extremely rare i can't believe the price on it i mean look i do a lot of trading i do a lot of things with a lot of collectors and dealers and when I see an opportunity to get a rare gem like this, I grab it and I get it for like cents on the dollar of its true value because they probably wanted a cashmere sapphire or something of the sort. So I'll trade for it and therefore I'll, I'll charge more for the cashmere sapphire, make the profit on that and then offset the true cost on this. And that's the savings you get at the Don's Club. Impossible to replace Bala Spinel anywhere close to the price it's going for. The mount alone is 1.3 carats of deep flawless at 6,000 a carat you know that's already close to 8k just for the mount so guys rare we don't see a lot of these they're very very uncommon due to the historical nature of this material they got excellent sparkle excellent color and they are very attractive and it's what you would expect in an aeronautically engineered cat florence piece